Hi, I'm Alexa Kim and welcome to this beginner 20 minute Pilates session. Let's start by getting ourselves in parallel. Feet hip distance apart, toes spread out along the mat, softness in the knees, neutral pelvis, shoulders back and down and chin parallel to the ground. Bring your hands to your ribs and three deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose, letting the ribs separate. Exhaling deeply through the nose, letting the ribs come back together. In Pilates, our breath needs to be focused into those ribs, separating them like curtains and drawing them back in. Now let's do some backward shoulder rolls. Really big shoulder rolls, shoulders all the way up, all the way back, all the way down, all the way round. Be aware of any tension here, help to release that. Now let's reverse those into forward shoulder rolls. Now let's go into some side bends. Reaching your arm down the side of your body, keeping those shoulders open, feeling a stretch down the whole side of the trunk and the leg. Keep chin away from chest, continue to breathe deeply. Hands on the hips, now let's start to work through the feet and the toes. Lifting the heels, just work alternately between the feet, spreading those toes out along the mat. Lifting and lowering the heels, starting to work the ankles. Now if you feel prepared to, we're going to switch with a little bit of a balance. Alter alternating sides, little hold at the top with the heels nice and high. Now coming to the back of your mat, we're going to do the Pilates roll down. Check that you are still in parallel. We're going to start by folding the chin into the chest, rounding the shoulders and letting the weight of the upper body carry your body down towards the ground. If you can't touch the mat or the ground, you might want to use a block here on either end to give you some support. Hold this stretch, feeling it down the backs of the legs into the glutes and the lower back. From here we're going to bend deeply, we're going to tuck that tailbone under and we're going to rise up through the body, rolling through the lower back, the mid back, the upper back, allowing the shoulders to fall back and down and the chin parallel to the ground. Now let's try that again, chin to chest, folding the shoulders forward, allowing that upper body just to fall forwards towards the ground. Feeling that stretch at the back of the legs into the lower back and the glutes. Enjoy holding the stretch for a moment, bending the knees, tucking the tailbone, and rolling back up through the spine, segment by segment. Shoulders back and down, and chin parallel to the ground. Let's go through that Pilates roll down again. Enjoy every stage of this roll down, feeling the back loosen, feeling the stretch in those muscles, feeling that each time you get a little bit lower to the ground. Now we're going to take some bends and straightens of the knee in this Pilates roll down position. Bending the knees deeply and then pushing the hips away, creating a deeper stretch into those hamstrings. Tucking the tailbone under and rolling back up through the vertebra. Continue to breathe deeply here. On this roll down, we are going to bring the weight of our body forward and we're going to press straight back into downward dog. Nice strength in the shoulders, hips up to the ceiling, stretching down the back of the legs. Now work between each leg, bending the knee and pushing the heel towards the ground. Deepening the stretch into the calf as you do so. Push back and hold. 
We're now going to start to transfer the weight of our body forwards into a Pilates plank. Keeping the hips high, room in between the shoulders. We're gonna work between our downward dog and our plank position in your own time. Hold each of the positions for as long as feels comfortable. Pushing backwards and forwards. Using strength in the arms to move between those postures. Continue to breathe deeply. This is not easy. When you're ready, come down to your knees, separate your legs and go into child's pose. Stretching into that lower back, stretching those arms forward. Take a moment and breathe. We're now gonna start our exercises with a seated back twist. Sitting with your legs crossed or legs out in front of you, whichever feels more comfortable. You may even want to sit on a block to help with your posture. We want to be sitting really upright with shoulders back and down. From here, we're gonna place our hands underneath our chin with our elbows close to the body and we are gonna twist side to side. Now, focus on your technique here. We are only twisting as far as the torso will let us. Our head is following our body, not dragging our body over to each side. This is a small movement, but the sweet spot should be felt around the ribs and bra strap level, creating fantastic mobility in that mid thoracic region of the spine. Continue to breathe deeply and enjoy this strengthening movement. We're now going to place the legs straight out in front of us, not too wide about the distance of your mat lengthways. We're going to sit up nice and straight, taking the arms out to the side. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. So twisting to one side, we're lowering that opposite arm down towards the leg, supporting our posture with the other arm. Lifting up, repositioning ourselves to work the other side. This movement is going to give you a deep stretch into the hamstrings. Work side to side in your own time. Ensure that you are repositioning yourself in that starting motion. Shoulders back and down, sitting up nice and high before you complete each turn to the side. Focus on your form, breathing through the movements, enjoying the stretch into the back of the legs. Bring those legs in, release some of that tightness. We're now going to make our way onto our back. Feet flat on your mat, knees hip distance apart, feet in the same direction. We're just going to find a neutral spine, a neutral spinal position as we lay on the mat. So we're going to tuck our pelvis all the way in one direction and all the way in the other direction. Pushing your back fully into the mat and then rounding your back fully away from the mat. These are the two extremes of posture. What we want to find is the middle of those. We want to adjust that and then we want to bring our ribs down towards our hips. Tighten belly button to spine, ready to complete abdominal exercises. This first one is tabletop. We are lifting one leg 90 degrees, followed by the other leg, lowering the first leg back down and the second leg. I'm then gonna alternate between sides as I lift and lower. My shoulders, my head and my arms are remaining relaxed as I'm using my core to stabilize my spine as I lift my legs from the ground. Ensure to keep that 90 degree angle hinging from the hips, avoiding the want to bring your leg in closer to the body to make the movement easier.
extra focus wants to be placed on the rise of the second leg and the lower of the first leg. This is where the movement is at its most difficult and so attention needs to be paid to this to ensure that we're doing the movement correctly, therefore gaining the benefits. Hug your knees into your chest, take a moment to relax. Repositioning your feet flat on the ground, make sure that those hips, knees are tracking from your hips. Shoulders and head and arms are relaxed. We're gonna bring both legs to tabletop. And from here, we're gonna do some toe taps. Again, hinging from the hips with your knees and hips at a 90 degree angle. We are raising and lowering the toes, gently touching the mat before raising back up. Avoid hitting the mat too hard with your toes. This will allow you to bounce off the floor, making the movement easier. Instead, it wants to be a very, very gentle touch, ensuring that you're using those abdominal muscles to control the movement back up to tabletop. Make sure you're breathing deeply. Once you're finished, lower each leg with control back down to the ground. Hug those knees into your chest. Take a moment to relax. From here, we're gonna focus now on the glutes and the backs of the legs. Again, keeping my pelvis and ribs in our traditional position, my feet are flat on the ground. I'm gonna fully tilt my pelvis and roll up through the segments of my spine away from the mat. Using my glutes to keep those hips high, I'm holding for a second at the top and then rolling slowly back down through the spine finishing with a tilt in the pelvis. Rolling up slowly with control, keeping those ribs anchored to the hips, breathing deeply, taking a hold at the top before rolling slowly back down. Keeping that pelvis really tilted until the final segment of your back is against the mat. With each roll up, try to make sure you get the hips as high on the first repetition as you do on the last repetition. And just continue to check that those knees are tracking your hips and aren't splaying out to the side or towards each other. Stretch your legs long, your arms above your head. Take a hold, breathe and relax. We're now gonna work the side of the body, particularly the legs. Laying lengthways, we want to line up our heels, our hips and our shoulders. Head resting on the arm that's away from the body, making sure our hips are stacked on top of each other and the other arm is supporting us at the front of the body. We're gonna flex that top foot, and we're gonna raise and lower it away from the underneath leg with control. Check your alignment as you work. Make sure the movement feels comfortable and that your hips are remaining stacked on top of each other throughout the movement. Keeping that top foot flexed rising and lowering it with control. We're gonna do 16 reps here. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure you're looking straight ahead, the chin isn't tucked into the chest or looking upwards, staring straight ahead and breathing deeply. Bring that leg in, give it a rub, thank it for its hard work. And we're now going to switch sides to repeat that on the opposite leg. Now, take note of how you are setting yourself up. Remember heels, hips and shoulder, arms stretched long and head resting looking straight ahead. Front arm is supporting, hips are stacked on top of each other, top foot is really flexed and we're raising and lowering that leg with control for 16 repetitions. Well done, draw that leg in, give it some thanks, take a moment to breathe and relax. Now let's come back to work our abdominals and we're gonna complete the Pilates 100 exercise. Feet firmly on the floor, knees bent, let's remember to get that pelvic tilt perfect, neutral spine and ribs anchored towards hips. For this movement, we're gonna lift the head, the shoulders and the arms off the ground and we are going to fiercely pump the arms 100 times. Nice and strong pumps, embracing the core, working the backs of the arms, keeping space between the chin and the chest, breathing in for five, breathing out for five, and repeating that 10 times. Lower your head, your shoulders and your arms back down to the mat. We are going to repeat that again. Set yourself up correctly. Head, shoulders and arms off the ground and into our 100. Quick pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keeping feet flat on the floor. This is our most basic version of this exercise. It can be advanced. Check out my other videos for these variations. Relax your shoulders, arms and head down. Hug those knees into your chest. Take a moment to breathe and relax. Finally, let's draw our attention to the muscles of the back. For this, we are going to lay on our front, legs relaxed behind us. We're gonna take our arms and our hands to 90 degree angles from the shoulders head pointing towards the mat. From here, we are gonna lift the head and the arms off the mat and lower with control. Here, we want to keep the glutes and the legs relaxed, ensuring it is the mid back that is working here. We want the arms and the head to all travel up and down together. And we want to stay looking at our mat, keeping the neck long. So as we raise up, we're not drawing our head forward to look at the wall, we're still looking down at the ground. Lifting and lowering, breathing deeply, working the movement with control. Sweet spot should be in that mid back, feeling the contraction of the muscles in that region. Well done, we have now completed a routine of the whole body. Stretch yourself back into child's pose, this time with knees together, really round that lower back and enjoy a stretch here. Take some breaths. This is an ideal routine to complete two or three times a week. Increase the repetitions as you feel comfortable to. Have a look at the stretch video that I have done here and I will look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thank you for watching.